Okay, this is the MSA, Manitow Salts Auger. This is both a selective and a differential media. It is selective from the standpoint it has a higher salt concentration than most media. And Staphylococcus is the species that can tolerate high salt concentrations. Most other organisms cannot. As well as some of the dyes that are in there um, will inhibit the gram negative. So over on this plate, this is what the plate looked like initially prior to inoculation. This one was inoculated with E. coli. As you see, there is no growth. It cannot tolerate the salt. So that is selective. It inhibited the growth of it. Now with different staphylococcal species, it becomes a differential um, type of medium. Down at the lower portion of the plate here, you can see where Staphylococcus aureus was inoculated. It will grow. It will also, because it can lactose, um, ferment the mannitol in the lactose, it will turn it yellow. However, in the upper portion of the plate over here where we inoculate it with Staphylococcus epidermidis, it will grow because it can tolerate the salts, but it will not turn it yellow. So this is the differential portion of this plate. This, you look to see A, if there is growth, it has to be a Staphylococcus species, and then C, if it turns yellow, it has to be Staphylococcus aureus. If it remains the pinkish normal beige color to it, does not turn the media yellow, then it would be one of your other Staphylococcus species such as Epidermidus that we work with in the lab.